can you identify these two songs? You might be able to by either their rhythm or by the pitch notation. But that's not why I'm using two of the most well-known used songs for my examples today. I'm actually using them because they have something very important at the beginning of each song, an anacrusis. An anacrusis, also known as a pickup or pickup note or notes, is where we have notes beginning before the first full measure of the song. So in this song, I have two eighth notes as my anacrusis. It's an incomplete measure here. It's not a 3-4 measure. It doesn't have three beats in the measure. It only has one. And here, I have another one with a dotted eighth and sixteenth. And then I get my full measure. So this is a pickup. These are pickup notes as well. The term is anacrusis. So, hmm, what could that be? Happy birthday to you. <whistles> Forgive me, I don't know if I'm on the right pitch. I don't have my piano handy, but you get the idea. When we sing it, happy birthday to you. Happy birth. When we sing the burr, that's the downbeat of one. Happy birthday to you. So these pickup notes, this anacrusis, is quite important. When we take a look at this one, notice a slightly different rhythm. By the way, these are both in 3-4. Pickup notes, anacrusis, they don't have to be in 3-4. They can be in any time signature. So. Oh, say, can you see? Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn, by the, and oh, those are your pickup or anacrusis notes. They're important because they do come before the first beat, the most emphasized beat of each measure. And of course, in some of our songs this year, we have pickups or anacrusis in our music. So why is this important to us as vocalists? This circles back to my premise that breathing is just as important as singing and your preparatory breath prior to our anacrusis is extremely important because then of course we have to sing musical phrases and if we don't get a filling breath, a full expansive breath, Prior to singing these phrases, we're going to run out of air, and it could impact our tone quality, our intonation, and pretty much everything else in terms of the performance of these songs or any piece of music that we sing. So it's important to understand where we have an anacrusis or a pickup in a piece of music, and then also to have a strategy to prepare our breath for those moments. So we take that breath, and we're not struggling at the last minute to take a catch breath and then try to barrel through an entire phrase of music when we don't have enough air to support the singing of the phrase that starts with an anacrusis. From a standpoint of diction, we also want to make sure that our words are clear in our pickup notes. Very often when people are singing, they have a tendency to lose or slur or mumble the anacrusis. Now it's not a big deal when you're singing, oh, say, oh, okay. But, by the dawn's early light, what so? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the, as you can see in the example of the national anthem, it's very important to have those pick up words, the pick up notes, sung and clearly explicated in our diction to convey the total meaning of the song. We don't want to lose those pick up words and pick up notes at the beginning of a phrase.